let's go ahead and get into this tea bloom teapot i'm loving this this is so pretty i'm excited to see what it looks like let's try it on out i'm gonna go ahead and let you know about some of the features on this teapot it has a non-drip spout as you can see right here it has a vented lid there's a hole right there to vent it out we also have loose tea infusers that will go right inside and it also has a safe lead-free glass which i know y'all would love comfortable grip on the handle and it is clear so you can see right through it let's go ahead and check it out a little bit deeper so there's different ways to use this tea kettle i'm going to show you the first way with just using a regular tea bag where i just dump the tea bag in and i'm also going to show you the blooming infused flower as well so let's check it on out so I have my tea ready and out. I'm just waiting for the water to finish boiling. But I did want to show you some other details that you might have missed. Right here is a loose tea infuser. This right here is where you put different um, tea items that are loose. Not the bags like this or not the loose flower, but the actual loose tea you put in here and then put in the kettle. I'm not going to show you that because I'm just showing you the regular way and also the bloom way, but that is what this container right here is for. So I brought my water to a bowl. Be careful, the glass is hot. I made sure I used an oven pan to bring it over to the board. Now I'm opening my tea packet. And just as simple, I'm dumping my tea packet in. This right here is, I think it's green tea. And as you see, as clear as day, we have tea. All I have to do now is place the top on top, and there you go, regular tea. Now here's the blooming tea, what you've been waiting on. You've probably never seen this before. I know this is my first time doing it, so we're gonna see how it goes for us. So we have the blooming tea flowering tea right here, as you can see. It's a small flower that's going to eventually get big, just like on the picture right there. So I'm gonna open this right on up. All right, so check this out. This is what I got when I took it right out of the bag. As you can see, very interesting. Feel like this is gonna be some strong tea just on the looks alone. <laughs> so now all you do is place it right at the bottom of the tea, just like that, okay? In a separate kennel, or in a pot, you go ahead and boil that water, and then you're going to pour the water right into the tea kettle. Pretty cool. Now, as the water is boiling, I'm going to go ahead and tell you the places that you could use this, because you're probably looking like, well, when will I need this? When can I use this? Well, bridal showers, baby showers, nice one-on-one -on -one lunches at your house, anything that you want to amaze people with beautiful uh kitchen appliances or artwork this right here is all in one and this would be something great to have as a centerpiece in your home all right water is hot i'm going to go ahead and pour it right inside i made sure i pour the water about three to four inches inside there is a little spot up here and that is just fine. Place the top on, and I'm gonna go ahead and let it do what it does. So it's gonna take about five to 10 minutes for that flower to bloom fully inside this tea container. Two minutes in, I just wanna give you a view of what's going on. So as we can see, the ball is opening up just a smidge, and it's gonna gradually become bigger. I'm excited about this, you all. Check it out. I'm seeing a little bit of that red, pinkish bloom coming out. Let's give it about five more minutes and let's see what it does. Check out the gold color the tea is giving off. I'm loving this so far. Can't wait to it. Opens up full bloom. <laughs> Take a look now. See what's going on. Looks pretty cool. So it has did its thing. And as you can see, it's got 
has gotten bigger. All right, so as you can see, it has bloomed into the flower. It doesn't look exactly like the box, but it does bring a cool ambiance to tea time. As you can see, it is a deep gold. We're gonna go ahead, try it out and see what it tastes like. I'm gonna go ahead and pour it on in. Steam is still coming out, so it's still warm. It does have a lovely taste, I must say. 